grace and peace to you all in Jesus' mighty name. And on behalf of the God's Heart TV family, I want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. And of course, a Happy New Year 2023 in advance. By God's grace, I'm here on the snowy mountains of North Wales. And as we're celebrating this wonderful season, this is also an opportunity for us to reflect and be reminded on those important fundamental principles of our Christian faith. Because <laughs> without Jesus, there would be no Christmas. And I want to remind you of a scripture. Let me quote that scripture in the book of Titus chapter three from verses three to five. It says, we too were once foolish, disobedient, deceived and enslaved by all kinds of pleasures and, and passions. We, we lived in, in malice and envy, being hated and hating each other. <laughs> but when the kindness and the love of our God, our Savior appeared, He saved us. Not, not because of the righteous things we had done, but by His mercy. And I want you to reflect on this, people of God, as we celebrate this Christmas season. It's not about your merits. It's all about His mercy. It's, it's not about your, your goodness. It's about His grace. It's not about your, your competence. It's about His compassion. It's not about self-righteousness. It is all about righteousness in Christ Jesus. To put it simply, it's all about Jesus. He alone is the reason for this season. And if you reflect on your, your journey, your journey in life thus far, your journey through 2022, I believe you would agree with me that our emotional strength, our physical strength, our intellectual strength alone is not sufficient to withstand the challenges of life, the temptations of the flesh and the tricks of the devil. It's, it's not enough. <laughs> we, we, we need not come to a point of exhaustion before realizing this truth. We, we don't need to, to come to that moment where, where we've, we've exhausted, we've drained all our emotional resources, all our mental resources, all our physical resources before we come to the point of recognition that we can no longer rely on ourselves. We cannot save ourselves. It's only Jesus. We need someone who is stronger, bigger, better, smarter, wiser than us. We need Jesus. He is the one factor in the equation that changes everything. In fact, we need His strength to overcome. We need His grace to manage whatever life brings. And when you focus, focus on Him, it changes your perspective on everything else in life. I mean, let me take an example of the celebration of this festive season. Focusing on Jesus will change your perspective on how to celebrate this season. Yes, of course, Christmas is a wonderful time of festivity, joy, exchanging of gifts, a time to be with friends and family. Wonderful. 
but I want you to look beyond the traditional sense of celebration. Because in John chapter 13, verse 34, Jesus told his disciples, a new commandment I give you, <laughs> love one another. And there is no greater way to honor Jesus this Christmas than to share and show his love to others. Whether it's a kind word to that discouraged neighbor or an encouraging smile to that lonely stranger, whether it's a phone call to, to someone you've, you've disconnected from for many years or, or a visit to someone that ordinarily you would never go and see, whether it's just giving a gift to someone who does not have the companionship of friends and family due to circumstances beyond their control. Share and show the love of Jesus this Christmas. And I want to encourage you, look beyond the circle of just your, your friends and your family. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus this Christmas by reaching out with his love to the least of these. By the grace of God, over this season, God's Heart TV has, has been involved in some humanitarian projects in different parts of the world. And right now we want to show you a, a clip, some clips of these humanitarian projects to encourage your faith and also to inspire you to let love lead. Let's watch right now. schools and was refuse to donate the food and then um, we've got charge as well and on behalf of everyone I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas from Barty's Food Bank in Stella Bridge Greater Manchester. God bless you all. Wild Bank Community School, um, a huge thank you from our families um, to God's Heart TV for your kind gifts at Christmas. Very much appreciated, thank you. I'm the head teacher here at Bookdale. Thank you so much for all of your support. This is not the first donation we've had. Um, these um, donations do go to get distributed to our families in need um, pretty much immediately. Um, you'd be surprised how many they are. Um, here at Bookdale, we do have quite a few families um, who are struggling. Um, and we uh, we try to help as much as we possibly can those families. And so we really are extremely grateful for any donations that we get. On behalf of everybody at St Rayfields, I want to say thank you very much for the kind donations and for you to take the time to come such a long way into doing this. We very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'd say thank you for all your donations um, to, for, to all the families at St Mary's. It'll be a massive help this winter. Thank you very much.
nous sommes appelés à aller à la prison de Makala, à Kinshasa, en RDC, pour aller rendre visite aux prisonniers. Voilà comment nous sommes en train de préparer le repas. Nous, sou nous souhaiterons à leur offrir euh, un repas chaud, vraiment un repas au goût de la maison, pas au goût de la prison. We are presently in an elderly home, Hospice Bolingali in Kingabwa. By the special grace of God, we are here with provision to offer to our elders. Un petit cadeau de la part du ministère, le cœur de Dieu. Mama Maria, Mese Mama, Mama Nayesu, Mese Mama, Boya Yo Yo Yako Sengwe, Toye Bake, To Zali Banawayo, Toko Dala Nabi So Sekwe. Alléluia! Amen! Greetings, today the 15th of November, and we get the boxes from God's Heart TV. And this is only the first part, which we will be delivering to the Liman, it's the Donetsk region. And with the help of your ministry, we will serve to the people who don't have electricity, gas, or warm and heating system in their houses. У нас несложная обстановка, громко постоянно, страшно, нет света, газа, воды. Спасибо большое, что вы передаете нам такие хорошие. Сегодня еще у нас было шумно, и днем, и ночью было очень шумно. Спасибо большое, что... Не оставляйте нас в беде, что помогаете нам, и что мы вам не безразличны, наша беда вам тоже не безразлична. Аскарти. Спасибо вам большое. Спасибо британцам за помощь в городе Лиман. Нам, конечно, здесь не сладко, ребята. Ну, спасибо вам. Будем держаться. Все будет хорошо. Спасибо. Спасибо. Великое спасибо. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. We thank God for the wonderful privilege of, of sharing and showing his love to those in need. And right now I want to share with you a Christmas gift. <laughs> and that Christmas gift is to pray for you. In the words of Prophet TB Joshua, nothing can make us love someone as much as, as praying for them. So, 
people of God, let us pray together in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your precious gift of love. Oh Lord, help us to grow in love until it flows naturally from our hearts to others. As we celebrate your love this Christmas, oh Holy Spirit, pour into our hearts your passion and compassion to reach those in need. Give us your eyes to locate those you have sent us to and help us identify what you have given to us to give to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, every spirit of selfishness, I say, come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of stinginess, come out right now. Every spirit of stubbornness, come out right now. Every spirit of greed, come out, out, out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus for your unfailing love in Jesus name <laughs> amen wow people of God hallelujah once again to you all Merry Christmas in his presence